So, I have not made a video in quite some time. I still look a wreck. I still have this beautiful contraption. Can you see it? Probably not all of it. Don't want to show my tatas, but that's the tube. That is called the tunnel catheter. I think I said it when I was in the hospital. Um, I look a hot mess. I always look a hot mess for these videos, so don't expect anything different, I guess, for a while. Although, look at this hair. My hair is getting healthier. I have no idea how that's happening. Actually, I do. Well, I just started right off the bat just talking to you like we're having a cup of coffee. So, oh, sorry for that close-up. <clears throat> I started, even though I'm on dialysis, they recommend a renal vitamin. But I have heard from a couple nephrologists, which are my you know, kidney doctors, if you're on dialysis or deal with kidney disease, then you know what that is. Um, that I could take it over the counter. So I found this freaking thing. It's the Ollie multivitamin for women. Oh my God. I think the biotin in it alone is working wonders for this craziness because... My hair was looking so, if you remember in the past couple videos, my hair was looking real, it was scary. It, it, it was bad. I mean, this is scary, but look how long it's gotten and it's gotten fuller and stuff. So I'm happy with it. I'm going to continue to take that. They did give me samples of a renal vitamin, but I don't like, one, I'm not good at taking pills. I'm not. I'm probably the worst dialysis patient. I'm not the worst, but I mean, I'm not the best either. Just like I'm not the best diabetic. <laughs> or I wouldn't have been on dialysis, right? Um, I wanted to get you up to date. I do have a doctor's appointment February 1st with the surgeon that will decide what we're gonna what options we have for either a fistula or a graft in my arm since my old fistula when I got sick just decided to stop working hence the tunnel catheter um I still have this lovely stitch because I didn't realize that this you can't see it because I have it covered with a band-aid but it's anchoring the tunnel cath <laughs> So hopefully he can take that out on the 1st. And then February 4th, I go see a cardiac doctor about my heart issue. Because two weeks before I was put in the hospital for the cardiac tamponade. I never know if I'm saying that word right. I was in the hospital for another fluid on the heart issue. Which they did not tell me at the time would cause... The cardiac tamponade. Go figure, right? So, hopefully on the 4th, she'll tell me if I need to be on medications. What medications they have to be. If I have to have surgery. Because I know that they did talk about, when I was in the hospital the first time for only a couple of days, that if it had happened again, which I guess it did, but 10 times worse, that they would have to cut into the heart wall so that the fluid didn't build up anymore. I'm hoping that that is not the case at the moment because that scares the living shit out of me. Um, I mean, that health-wise, that's, <clears throat> that's pretty much it health-wise. I think that's up to date, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm scared shitless. It's normal, I guess. Um, heart issues do run on my mom's side of the family, so I shouldn't be too surprised that I'm having some issues. Plus, dialysis, you never, you never pass away, just to get this out there, you never pass away from dialysis itself, or kidney disease itself. You pass away from the effects of the disease and the treatment. 
which means you can pass away from pneumonia, you can pass away from heart disease, you can pass away from, you know, anything. It's not technically going to be the dialysis treatment or the kidney disease itself. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, the heart, the heart thing is really scaring me. Matter of fact, I started looking up, I was vegan, like, about six years ago, and I noticed I had felt a lot better, and I was starting to look up stuff, and, you know, because I should be on a lower sodium diet anyway because of the renal disease, and, and I started thinking, well, I probably really need to really pay more attention to that because of the heart now, so I was looking up stuff, and... If I don't do the processed vegan food, no wonder I felt better when I was doing it before because, like, there's a, um, a hell of a lot less sodium in everything vegan that, you know, I would eat compared to the <clears throat> alternative. Like, I'm real picky on my vegetables anyway. So, this is, that's what I think, I only did the veganism for about six months when I did do it, but I felt a hell of a lot healthier, and I wish I hadn't fallen off the wagon. A holiday comes around, and I fall off the wagon. But with this happening, I don't see myself falling off the wagon anytime soon. And the veganism is going to jumpstart February 1st. As soon as that happens. I already bought some things to kind of try because I am addicted to cheese. And I did find a cheese that I can tolerate. Um, I forgot what brand it is, but it's like a tomato cayenne flavored cheese slice that would be good for sandwiches. If you don't smell it, because it literally smells like you've gone into your garden not picked a vegetable, but picked up a handful of the dirt and just smelled it. <laughs> but if you eat it, like every other vegan cheese, it seems to have that really generic plasticky kind of feel to it. If you just eat a piece of it. But if you put it on a sandwich, like I had it on a piece of bread the other night, um, just to see if that made a difference. And it does. It's like a hell of a lot better. So I did find a cheese good for sandwiches. Hellman's now makes a vegan, you know, mayonnaise. So I picked that up. I've not been brave enough to try it yet. <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, I just, I noticed like from the first time I did it, that there's a lot more options. I want to find because I can't remember the name of it. I'm probably going to have to go on Amazon. There was a sunflower bread that I used to get when I was vegan. And it was so good for sandwiches. Because I used to do that. I used to put um, the spicy brown mustard down on that sunflower bread. And then I would do purple cabbage, mushrooms, tomato. Sometimes I would slice some raw zucchini. That is amazing. And... And then, like, I don't even think I put cheese on that because at the time, I even cut out, I cut out everything. I didn't even try the alternative, you know. And that was so good. It was so good for, like, a week straight. I was eating it every day after dialysis. That's how good that shit was. Um, I want to remember the name. If any of you know the name of the sunflower bread or a good sunflower seed bread that's vegan... Please let me know. Reach out to me. Let me know. Also, if you have any good um, vegan recipes that I should try. I do not like onions. I do not like bell peppers. I do like banana peppers, though. So, I'm good with banana peppers. I'm good with mushrooms. Zucchini. I can't have a lot of tomato because... If you know anything about kidney disease, you can't have a lot of potassium. Tomatoes have a lot of potassium. I eat it once in a while, but not that often. Potatoes, if I soak them, like, for eight hours, it pulls a lot of potassium out. So I can actually do potatoes if I feel like soaking them, and I know ahead of time. <clears throat> um... This is like a rambling, but I know I hadn't done a video since I was in the hospital and I just wanted to catch 
my three viewers up to date. And this vitamin, obviously, I'm not being sponsored. I have three viewers, but I'm just telling you, if you are looking, if you are a lady and looking for a good vitamin, this one is good. It smells kind of like a Fig Newton. <laughs> I can't, that's, that's what it kind of smells like and tastes like. It's like a Fig Newton. Um, but it's amazing. And my hair is, like, blowing my mind. Now, dialysis does want me on a higher vitamin D. But nobody in the state of Ohio has enough vitamin D in their system anyway. So, I don't know. I'll reach out and get a different supplement for that. Because this one actually does not have a lot. As a matter of fact, I, do, I double probably not supposed to but I do I double the dose just to get close to what I need um if you're just a everyday Joe Joan <laughs> um you won't need to double the dose you take two a day there's like 90 in this bottle for $15 at least at Walgreens Walgreens it's $14.99 uh is it Walgreens no oop Rite Aid Right Aid, fourteen ninety nine. I don't know what it is at Walgreens, um, but I guess that's my big old plan. The rest of my day, other than this video, is gonna be crafting, and I have to make a phone call because I would like someone to be able to go in with me for the cardiac doctor. So I've got to call the cardiac doctor to make sure that I can have at least one um person go in with me, just so that. I have another set of ears hearing what's going on with my situation. Um, I wasn't able to finish dialysis yesterday because I got sick the last half hour. Ever since I got out of the hospital, I haven't been handling my dialysis amazingly well. I've been getting kind of nauseous and stuff, but I think we figured out why. So that should be taken care of soon. Um, not anything major. Matter of fact, I'm taking care of that at home. It should be okay. <laughs> Frankie is um not pleased with me talking this early in the morning. Are you, Bubba? Frankie, come here. Come here. Come here. Sorry, that was him. He shook the camera. There's my boy, boy. He's my little pumpkin strudel. That's his new name. He has about 150. Um, But that's my baby boy. Can you believe he's going to be 12 in May? I can't. He's so handsome. Huh. He's my little chi monkey. But me and Frankie would like to wish you all well. Hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you for all your support. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. And until next time.